Hi guys, it's Richard Chambers from rijchambers.com again. Uh, great to see you, hope you're enjoying all of these videos. Uh, what I want to talk about today is, is something that's it's been around for a long, long time. Uh, in first, I first came across it actually in Earl Nightingale's uh, broadcast from the 1950s. And I mean, I'm recording this in 2018 and it's still relevant. But basically what it is, is the problem of financing, of funding and investment uh, for your own education. And I'm going to actually um, record or take part of the recording. And he, has, he tells a story and I think it's relevant now. So I'm going to quickly stop this tape. I'm going to put the recording in. It's, it, it'll be a relatively short story. The whole tape itself uh, is actually quite long. It's about half an hour, uh, but well worth listening to. And uh, as I say, still relevant today to what it was then. But this story really, um, I find absolutely fascinating. I hope you do. See you at the other side. Now, success is not the result of making money. Making money is the result of success. And success is in direct proportion to our service. Most people have this law backwards. They believe that you're successful if you earn a lot of money. The truth is that you can only earn money after you're successful. It's like the story of the man who sat in front of the stove and said to it, Give me heat and then I'll add the wood. How many men and women do you know or do you suppose there are today who take the same attitude toward life? There are millions. We've got to put the fuel in before we can expect heat. Likewise, we've got to be of service first before we can expect money. Don't concern yourself with the money. Be of service, build, work, dream, create. Do this and you'll find there's no limit to the prosperity and abundance that will come to you. Prosperity, you know, is founded upon a law of mutual exchange. Any person who contributes to prosperity must prosper in turn himself. Sometimes the return will not come from those you serve, but it must come to you from someplace. Yeah, it's true. Uh, you're asking for something, uh, you know, I want the heat out, but you're trying to get money out of a system, is the allegory for it, obviously, um, without putting something in. You've got to put fuel in. You've got to provide the momentum, almost, to get what you want out of something. Uh, you know, you're not going to get anything for free, unfortunately. It's a sad fact of life. But, you know, you've got to be able to think about things, decide what you want to do, then go for it, then push forward and make the effort. Sometimes the fuel going in is simply the effort you make, the enthusiasm you have for it, the way of going forward in your own mind is you know, what you need. But sometimes the fuel, unfortunately, is money. And if you say, I don't have money, I can't do it, and you give up, you're never going to get any money anyway, uh, at least not from that source. But if you find a way, there are ways, there's many ways. There's ways of learning things, there's ways of doing jobs, doing things, selling stuff. How much junk do you have up in your loft? How much junk do you have out in the garage? All this kind of stuff. There's, what do they call them in America? Yard sales? I, I can't remember. I'm in Scotland, so I'm afraid I don't always know the, all the terminology. Uh, but yeah, car boot sales is how we would describe them here in, in the UK. Uh, so there are ways of getting some money, of using that to make money. Uh, the whole purpose of the training from the challenge is actually not to make money. Vic Streisius, my mentor, and also the, the author of all of these tapes and all of these courses, uh, basically says, forget about money. It's a byproduct of the training. It's a byproduct of the actions that you take. And you have to take the actions, as I said in an earlier a video JDI just do it you've got to make the effort so really I hope you enjoy these sometimes brief sometimes more longer videos but 
I hope you see what I'm getting at here. You've got to be able to do it. Go outside your comfort zone. Go try things that you've never even thought. Today I've set off some traffic campaigns. I have no idea whether they're going to work or not. Yes, I'm afraid they've cost me a little bit of money, but I'm hoping that the return on my investment will be well worth it because it's part of my education. It's part of the learning that I am trying to comprehend, to understand, to be able to apply it to anything, to any form, any area of marketing that you really want to go for. So hope you enjoy it. If you did, send me a comment, send me a like, just give me some form of feedback that will be really, really much appreciated. So all the best. Take care. Bye bye.